हेलो फ्रेंड्स गुड इवनिंग टू ऑल ऑफ यू सो एंड बैक विथ अनदर वीडियो ऑन सोशलॉजी ऑप्शन सब्जेक्ट फॉर यू पी एस सी सी एस सी मीन्स एग्जामिनेशन इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू कवर पॉपुलेशन डायनामिक्स पॉपुलेशन साइज ग्रोथ कंपोजिशन एंड डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन सो फ्रेंड प्लीज डू दिस थ्री आर्स एंड विल रियली मोटिवेट मी टू कंटिन्यू दिस ऑसम कोर्स एंड शेयर एज मच एज पॉसिबल सो दैट मोर एंड मोर पीपल विल गेट बेनिफिटेड कमेंट एंड लाइक द वीडियो and hit the subscription button below the video as hard as you can and you can and ask any doubt if you have and now you can also follow us on fb page that is www.facebook.com/anorthodoxacademy so friend as you know that we are covering slot 2 autonomous topic we have already covered these much section that is introducing indian society and tribal communities in india and now from this video we are going to start population dynamic first section that is population size growth composition and distribution so let us start it so basically first we are seeing population size and distribution so india's population size and distribution first we see by numbers so basically india's population as on march 2011 stood at 1210 million which accounts for 17.5% of world's population these 1.2 billion people are unevenly distributed over our country's vast area of 3.28 million square kilometer which accounts for only 2.4% of world's area so by graph you can also see that by area we cover 2.4% of the whole world then in population we share about 17.5% of world's populations and this is the uneven distribution across states and basically only five state covers almost 50% of india's population and these five states are uttar pradesh maharashtra bihar west bengal and andhra pradesh so basically these five state cover almost 50% population of india now we see india population and distribution by density so basically population density provides a better picture of uneven distribution population distribution is calculated as the number of persons per unit area it is india is one of the most densely 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 populated countries of the world the population density of india in the year 2011 was 382 persons per square kilometer so basically density densities vary from 1102 percent per square kilometer kilometer in bihar to only 17 persons per kilo square kilometer in arunachal pradesh assam and most of the peninsular states have moderate population densities because of hilly dissected and rocky nature of terrain moderate to low rainfall shallow and less fertile soils these are the factors which influence population densities in these area then in north plain and kerala in the south have high to very high population densities because of flat plains with fertile soils and abundant rainfall so now by this map you can also see that persons living in per square kilometer in madhya pradesh there are around 196 persons per square kilometer in rajasthan it is 165 in chatisgarh 154 in up 690 persons per square kilometer then in national uh, capital territory of delhi and that is nct it has 9340 persons per square kilometer area so now we will see the population growth uh, basically growth of population refers to the change in number of inhabitants of a country or territory during a specific period of time say during the last 10 years and such a change can be expressed in two ways the first in terms of absolute numbers and second in terms of percentage change per year the absolute numbers added each year or decade is the magnitude of increase it is obtained by simply subtracting the earlier population for example that of 1991 from the later population example that is of 2001 it is referred to as the absolute increase the rate or the pace of population increase is the other important aspect it is studied in percent per annum that is for example a rate of increase of 2% per annum means that in a given year 
there was an increase of two persons for every hundred persons in the base population. So this is referred to as annual growth rate. India's population has been steadily increasing from 361 million in 1951 to 1210 million in 2011. The growth rate of population in India over the last one century has been caused by annual birth rate, death rate and rate of migrations and thereby it shows different trend. So basically there are four distinct phases of growth which is identified within this period and the phase first is this that is from 1901 to 1921 so first we see the magnitude and rate of India's population growth so in 1921 the progressive growth rate over 1901 is 407.64% and if we see India's growth rate during 1951 to 2011 is like this it says 17.64% increase in between 2001 and 2011 and 21.54% increase between 1991 and 2001 and so on. So basically in these four phases is that in first phase that is from 1901 to 1921 basically is referred to as a period of stagnant or stationary phase of growth of India's population since in this period growth rate was very low even recording a negative growth rate during 1911 to 1921 both the birth rate and death rate are were high keeping the rate of increase low poor health and medical services illiteracy of people at large and inefficient distribution system of food food and other basic necessities necessities were largely responsible for a high growth rate and death rate in this period then the second phase is between the decade of 1921 to 1951 and these are referred as a period of steady population growth and overall improvement in health and sanitation throughout the country brought down the mortality rate so at the same time better transport communication system and better transport and communication system improved distribution system the crude birth rate remained high in this period leading to higher growth rate than the previous phase. This is impressive at the backdrop of Great Economic Depression, 90s, 20 and World War II. Now we have phase third that is between the decade of 1951 to 81 and is referred to as a period of population explosion in India which was caused by rapid fall in the mortality rate but a high fertility rate of population in the country. The average annual growth rate was as high as 2.2 percent. So, uh, it, it is in this period after the independence the development activities were introduced through a centralized planning process and economy start showing up ensuring the improvement of living condition of pupil at large. So consequently there was a high natural increase and higher growth rate. Beside increased international migration bringing in Tibetans, Bangladeshis, Nepalis and even people from Pakistan contributed to high growth rate. So in the past 1981 Till present, the growth rate of country's population now remained high has started slowing down gradually. A downward trend of crude birth rate is held responsible for such a population growth. This was in turn affected by an increase in the mean age at marriage, improved quality of life, particularly education of females in the country. The growth rate of population is however still high in the country and it has been projected by a world development report that population of India will touch 1350 million by 2025. The population composition, now basically population composition is a distinct field of study within population geography with a vast coverage of analysis of age and sex that we will see. Then there is also something that is place of resident, ethnic characteristics, tribes, language, religion, marital status, literacy and education 
and occupational characteristics which shows the population composition in the country then we see the sex ratio is defined as a number of females per thousand males in the population this information is an important social indicator to measure the extent of quality between males and females in a society uh, extent of equality between males and females in a society at a given time so this is the structure that shows 1972 females per thousand males in 1901 and in 2011 we have 1940 females per thousand males and there are so many reasons that will define these criteria or the population now we see age composition the age composition of a population refers to the number of people in different age groups in a country it is one of the most basic characteristics of a population to an important degree a person's age influences what he need buys does and his capacity capacity to perform consequently the number and percentage of a population found within the children working age and aged group are notable determinants of the population social and economic structure so basically aged and children almost occupy 15 50 percent of age composition or age structure in India so that means around 16 uh, 50 percent of population is dependent because age and children are economically economically unproductive so that's why they are called dependents and adults contribute around 58.7 percentage population of India so these are called as working group or the productive ones so thank you guys for listening me and watching this video please do these fears comment and like and ask any doubt and also follow on facebook page and subscribe the channel for more videos as there are a lot of videos that are going to come to cover whole sociology optional subject thank you